miss the difference, obviously. Obviously, you miss the difference. Um, my stomach is really, really swollen at the moment and really, really sore. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another update for you guys. My um, <coughs> cough my lungs out first. <coughs> Excuse me. My this is my week 13 and week 14 update. I am going to try and start doing these now at the end of the week so that I remember and everything is fresh in my memory. But I have had a really really tough time with these two weeks. So I literally I haven't been able to just sit down and film. I've been all over the place mentally, emotionally and physically as well. So it is week 15 right now and it's about week 15, day two or whatever. So I'm just sitting here now to recap everything. I've written down all the notes and stuff so I do remember everything that went on that transpired in week 13 and 14. So this was the 7th to the 14th, that was week 13 and then the 14th, which was Valentine's Day to whatever's after the 14th yeah do the math week 13 started off okay um, I started feeling kind of uncomfortable in week 13 I started feeling like in my bladder sort of uterus area I started feeling like just fullness like all the time and kind of like like discomfort like I wouldn't say I wasn't, I wasn't in pain or anything like that but it was just so uncomfortable like I would feel like I needed to pee but then it would go away like immediately and then I would feel like I need to pee again and then I would go pee and then I would finish peeing and I would feel like I needed to pee again. It was, it was just really, really weird and uncomfortable and I just kept saying like it feels like and it was low, low down, like my discomfort was low, low down. It was in the like, I was feeling in the like urethra area so it wasn't like in the bladder that I was feeling uncomfortable. It was just like, and it, it just felt like kind of like something was blocking was blocking me up in there or whatever so the whole week I was just saying James I was like I just don't feel right like I don't feel so blocked like I like I'd sit down I just feel like I'm comfortable and it just was was an awful awful feeling and then so week 13 starts on Tuesday so then on Saturday morning I got up and I had energy and everything I was okay I definitely am taking I was taking less naps in week 13 and everything like that so that was all fine it was just this uncomfortable feeling so on Saturday morning, which was um, halfway through week 13, I got up and I did my workout that day. I was feeling all right. I was still feeling like that uncomfortable feeling. And then I went to the bathroom and I peed and TMI guys, but I peed out two little bladder stones. And as soon as I peed them out, I felt a million times better. Like I felt like, oh my gosh, this is actually what was wrong with me. So I've never had bladder stone ones before in my life. So I, I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what. So I peed out two bladder stones. I took a little picture of it. I was like this close to fishing them out. I was like, maybe I should fish them, should I fish them out? And James was in the bathroom at the time, the other bathroom. And I was like, James, you wanna see my bladder stones? And he was like, no, I don't wanna see that. Just flush it. And I was like, but should I get them out? I think I should fish them out. But then I didn't have gloves. I couldn't find gloves anywhere. So I wasn't gonna do that, you know? And I definitely, definitely like, like I felt it like, like as I was peeing, I felt it like it wasn't, I wasn't excruciating pain or anything like that. It was just really, really uncomfortable. And then I felt it and then I heard it like fall on the toilet and into the toilet. Do you know what I mean? So I know that it wasn't like a little bit of poop or whatever, do you know? It was two little bladder stones. I'm not gonna put the picture in because that's a little bit gross and TMI. But after that, I felt miles better. And then later that day though, I did pee and there was a little bit of blood in it. So we ended up in the K-Doc that night, that evening, just to get everything checked out. Just to, I wasn't feeling any pain, I wasn't getting any cramps. And I knew the bleeding wasn't like from my uterus or from my vagina, you know. I knew that it was in my pee, so I knew exactly what it was. I knew it was a UTI or a bladder infection. So I wasn't too worried about it, So, but we wanted to go get it checked out anyways. So we ended up in the K-Doc and I had an infection. I had white cells and blood in my, in my urine there. So they put me on antibiotics for that. So I started my course of antibiotics that Saturday night. And um, I was then feeling like uncomfortable, but in the bladder area section. Like, you know, when you have like cystitis or UTI, you feel it like across, like kind of across that where your bladder is and then you feel it like when you when your bladder is full you feel it and then when your bladder empties you kind of feel this sensation you know but it wasn't like burning when I peed or anything like that so 
it was um, it was actually okay and then so I was on the antibiotics for the rest of week 13 and then Valentine's Day we were away at the time we went away on Monday I took my husband away for a little getaway trip it wasn't anything to do with Valentine's Day we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day me and him but um, we were away it just happened to be that the best week we could get free was happened to be Valentine's Day so um, we were away and then so week 14 my pictures are from the hotel that we were in and stuff and I went swimming and everything that day it was great I went to the spa um, that day as well this is my second time getting pregnancy treatments at the spa so it was amazing I got another pregnancy massage I got my first one in week 12 and then I got my second one in week 14 on, on Valentine's Day basically. I did buy him a whole body treatment thing. He got like full body scrub, a body a full body wrap, coconut oil massage and all of this like facial and everything and yeah he was like that was amazing and also weird. <laughs> so um, he got all of that and I got myself a um, pregnancy treatment. So I got a facial, I got a full body massage and what else did I get? I got a foot treatment the first time but I didn't get a foot treatment the second time. So that was amazing and then um, we were, I was still kind of uncomfortable the whole time and, but it was okay, like I wasn't like in pain or anything like that, so that was all right. The 14th of February was officially the start of my second trimester, yes! So I'm officially in my second trimester now and that is amazing, amazing, amazing. Which is really strange because I thought that 12, the end of the 12th week was your second trimester like was the start of your second trimester, but that's not true. It's the start of the 14th week that is your actual second trimester because it's a 14 week period and another 14 week period and then the end. Um, so yeah, now I'm officially in my second trimester and I'm really, really excited. I'm so happy about it. So in week 14, I was still on the course of antibiotics and I finished that out in week 14. Then I had a checkup in the maternity hospital, so we got to meet the whole team. We got to meet the midwives and meet the um, consultants and the medical team and stuff that are going to be handling me. and. And they're just so friendly and they're amazing they made me feel really really great and I got to like really chat to and speak to um, a couple of the consultants it really took a, a load off of me because I got to ask a lot of my questions that I've had about like baby and birth and all of that stuff like so we know a lot more now about what's actually going to be happening like later on um, in the pregnancy as, as the pregnancy comes to a close so I'm really really happy and excited about all of that um, it really really did like take a load off me like I was feeling a little bit like I have no idea what's happening I have no idea like you know because the first appointment we didn't really get to speak to or see anybody they just took my a lot of my information they took a lot of my blood <laughs> and then um, that was basically it so this time we actually got to speak to the doctors and people um, in the hospital it was really really good that is basically my week 13 and week 14 these have been the toughest weeks so far um, in, in my pregnancy. Week 11 was hard because uh, like that was when I did get hit really really hard emotionally um, with a lot of stuff. Um, I had a lot of bad days week 11 and I'm still having a couple of bad days here and there and week 13 was very hard as well. I was feeling that uncomfortableness all the time and stuff. Week 14 I definitely noticed that black line on my tummy was definitely getting more um, noticeable. Um, my whole tummy is starting to look more and more like pregnant and stuff so all of that stuff is great as well um, so I'm, I am trying to pray through everything that's going on in my head I am trying to just keep positive because that's me I like to look on the bright side of things and pray pray things through and not let fear take a hold of my life so that's what I'm trying to do yeah it's not easy at all and they tell you that oh the first trimester is the hardest the first trimester was a breeze for me. It's not always the hardest one. And think about it, you have a lot of things to come. You have a lot of stretching to come. You have a lot of round ligament pain to come. You have a lot of, oh, speaking of which, I started getting I started getting a lot more stretching in my abs. Like, like I wouldn't, I hadn't worked my abs and I felt like I literally had been doing crunches all night again. So I'm getting a lot more of that here and there. So yeah, you have a lot of round ligament pain to look forward to and back pain and everything you have a lot of getting heavy to look forward to and there's obviously there's labor as well and contractions you have that to look forward to so, so to be honest week one actually is not the worst some people do get like seriously they need to be hospitalized and things like that and I completely understand that that's fair enough like but I'm just saying that the myth of like this whole like oh you're safe zone or it gets easier ball okay I'm calling it I'm calling it guys ball yeah they lied to us. 
I'm actually gonna do a video about that. I'm gonna do a video about that. I'm gonna do a couple of things that basically they don't tell you about pregnancy. It's gonna be a very, very TMI, like, like very TMI. So um, if you're looking forward to seeing that, let me know down below and I'm gonna make that video ASAP for you guys. So yeah, I am in week 15 now. I'm a very optimistic person, so I'm looking forward to it. I am struggling just because you see me happy or you see my Instagrams or my Snapchats. That doesn't mean that I'm like that 24 seven. I'm like that because I'm struggling a lot on the inside, but I'm very strong, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep pushing, okay? I feel like crying right now, but that's okay. <laughs> We're all humans. Anyways, <coughs> I'm gonna go. So that's it, basically, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other updates pregnancy updates go ahead and check out week 11 and 12 or the first one week four make sure that you subscribe to my channel to stay connected and to stay updated make sure you turn on the notifications as well just in case you don't get um, notifications of when I post I am posting these updates every Wednesday and Saturday to catch up because I didn't post them from the very beginning I started posting them when I was about already to 13 weeks or something like that that's when I started posting them so I am just posting them in bulk to catch up and then once I'm caught up I'm gonna be doing them weekly then at the end of the week so we're all on track and then I'm gonna be doing a lot of other things as well about my pregnancy and not about my pregnancy as well so look forward to all of that I'm looking forward to all of that and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, my on my Twitter as well. Okay, bye guys, see you.